Did you know I've helped hundreds of people become hackers and not one of them has been caught? That's because when I talk about hacking, I don't mean breaking into the FBI's computers, but rather the mindset needed in order to be successful. Years ago, companies really sat on structured data. That was data they collected deliberately, like customers' names and addresses, stock, orders, and it really didn't tell you much about customers' likes and dislikes. Today, however, we have lots of unstructured data. That is things like photos that people take online, social media posts, or the clicks that people make on your website and pages that they view. These indicate things that a customer is interested in and likes. The best companies today don't just have a hunch as to what might work and launch it and then receive terrible fails. Instead, what they do is they use this unstructured data to understand what their customers like and dislike and try and give them more of the things they really seem to love. For example, it's unlikely you would have heard of Bourbon, spelt B-U-R-B-N, which was a location-based network. However, the owners found that a lot of their customers were not using the location-based facilities, but rather just relying on the photos and filters. They therefore did away with the things the customers didn't seem to like and gave them more of the photos and filters that they did. They rebranded this network Instagram, and of course the rest is history. Another example would be Airbnb. It started off as just allowing someone to crash on a mattress in someone's living room. But very quickly, the data indicated there was something bigger at play here. The idea of the growth hacking mindset is that by using the data available, you can create right product fit. That is, give your customers more of what they like and discard the things they seem to care about less. Whether you use comments on social media, the clicks that are embedded into your website, or their browsing history and the pages they seem to visit, all of these kind of data gives you information that you can use to create something even better for your customers. The rule of thumb is to this, use the data and iterate, 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 tweaking all the time. Being successful in business today requires the right mindset and then to be able to use the data available. And now, if you did want to know how to break into other people's computers, the first thing you need to do is